Hello friends, welcome to Prevega Education. My name is Kunal Jaswal and here I am with one question which has been asked in a NET June 2024 examination. Okay, so since as you know that the uh, response date has been released yesterday evening. So Prevega Education is basically making a video solution of all those questions which has been asked in the examination. So in this league here I am with the question with the mathematical physics with the subtopic of numerical technique. And this question has been asked from the Simpson 1 by 3 rule. So if you see this question, the integral is given to us, i is equals to integral 0 to 1, 2x over 1 plus x square dx. And the step size is given as 0 0.5. We need to find out the value, the difference of the value, i estimated and i exact, right? i estimated means, i estimated means the value of the integral using the Simpson 1 by 3 rule, okay, and i exact means the exact value without using this method, right? So first of all, let's find out the i exact. It's a very easy integration to solve. So let's find out first the i exact. So integration we have 0 to 1, 2x over 1 plus x square dx, right? 1 plus x square dx. <coughs> How can you basically solve this integral? Let 1 plus x square is equal to t, so it will be 2x dx is equal to dt. Put the value here, this will be dt over t. And what should be the effect on the limit? If x equal to 0, the value of t is 1. If x equal to 1, the value of t will be 2. If when you solve this integral, you will get ln 2. And from 1 to 2, when you will put the limit, ln t, right? It should be ln t. When you put the limit, you will get ln 2 ln2 that is 0.693. So 0 0.693 is the exact value of this integral, okay? Now, come to the i estimated. So I'm writing uh, here, I'm writing here i exact. The value of i exact comes out 0 0.693, okay? Now, let's find out i estimated. So as we know that from Simpson 1 by 3, the value of the integral basically given by the equation h by 3, y naught plus 4 times y1 plus y3 plus y5 and so on plus 2 times y2 plus y4 plus y6 up to so on and at last we will have yn. In our class basically we derived this equation but here I am using this equation directly. So for this what is the value of h? The value of h is given as 0 0.5 there is a step size, the step size is 0 0.5. Now, let's find out y0, y1, and y2. What is the fx? The fx we have 2x over 1 plus x square, right? And the domain is from 0 to 1. 0 to 1 means, and the step size is 0 0.5. That means 0 to 1 we have to break in the step size of 0 0.5. So first we will take 0, then 0 0.5, and then 1. So the value of fx at, uh, let's say, this value, at x equal to 0. When you put x equal to 0, the value of fx, we get how much? This will be 0, right? And this will be our what? Y0. This value will be Y0, right? Now, when we put x equal to 0 0.5, if you put x is equal to 0 0.5, the fx, let's solve it, put the value here, x equal to 0 0.5, when you solve this, you will get 0 0.8, okay, you will get 0 0.8, right, and this will be your y1, this is your y1, and uh, I am going to erase the upper one, let's erase this, or let's go further in the next page, and uh, if I want to find out the next value that is at x is equal to 1, when you put x equal to 1 here, the value of fx, you will get 1 and this will be your yn, right? There's only three value here. We have only y0, y1 and at last value that is yn, right? So the value of y0 is comes out 0, the value of y1 comes out 0 0.8 and the last value is comes out 1, right? Now. Put the value in the integral equation 
or in the uh, equation from the uh, integration from the Simpson 1 by 3 rule. So, we have the equation i is equals to h by 3, the value of h is 0 0.5, so it will be 0 0.5 by 3. The value of y naught is 0, the value of y1 is 0 0.8, that is multiplied by the 4, and at last the value of yn is 1. So, what we are getting 0 0.5 by 3, and this should be multiplied by, so it will be 3.2 plus 1, that is 1.32. Let's solve this equation. What we will get? Let me solve. And uh, once I will solve this, I am getting 0 0.7, okay, I am getting 0 0.7. So this is the value of I estimated, right, the value of I estimated. So here we have value of I estimated and the value of I exact, let's take the difference both of them, see what we are getting. So I estimated minus I exact. I estimated is 0 0.7, I exact is 0 0.693 and when you will solve this you will get 0 0.007 right and this is your final answer. So if you see the option, option A is correct that is option number 1 is correct okay, option 1 is correct. So very easy question, this type of question we have solved in the class, no, basically the multiple question we have solved. Not only the Simpson 1 by 3, also the Simpson 1 by, uh, 3 by 8, the trapezoidal, all we have solved, but yes, it's a very good question. So, in a similar way, the Prevec Education will provide you the solution of all the questions which has been asked in the examination. Okay, thank you so much.